Just kind of uh, how different a challenge is Josh Allen from Russell Wilson <coughs> from Patrick Mahomes as you guys get ready for Buffalo. It's not really a different challenge. They're similar guys, and I like to throw the ball deep. I like to run around in the pocket. So um, Josh is another guy similar to those guys, a little bit better runner than Patrick, but has a strong arm as both of those guys that we played in, in, in the past. Um, Josh likes to use his feet, uh, triple threat type, type, type of guy, throw the ball, run the ball, and makes game-changing game decisions. So looking to contain him in the pocket. What's it like, a uh, stupid question for me, for a change. Um, what, what's it like to just regather yourself after every play because you're chasing a guy like that so many times and just stay disciplined but stay like calm and, and winded and everything else? Uh, I guess it's just my job. I don't really think anything about it, honestly. Um, I run around for 10, 15 seconds for one play, take a few deep breaths and then do it again, you know? That's how we, we condition and we work hard so that we can get our um, our breath back in lame terms, our breath back faster. Yeah. How proud are you of this defense for guys stepping in continuously when you have guys go down? Last week it was Peppers. You know, it just keeps keeps coming and changing, but you guys keep doing what you do. Yeah, the next man up mentality is really big. It's been pretty much one of the underlying things in our season. Uh, we had two good guys go down, three good guys go down, and next thing you know, guys have started stepping up. You saw more of Anthony. You saw more of Mac. So more of other guys just continuing to go in and out, uh, play, play, uh, play in and play out. Just make great plays. You know, Miles been doing a great job. I said Mac. Um, it's guys like Wade. Wade kind of stepped, stepped, stepped up, did his thing. We have two, two new guys coming in last week, and they did their thing as well. So it's really a testament to the coaching and also the will to get better and want to win for the team. Yeah, and how about the resiliency you guys show in game? You know what you did last week in Denver. Well, you know. The mindset is to win, you know, and and when when you wanted something so bad, you're gonna fight some, something to get it, you know. And we went down there, started off strong. They, they they came back. They're a great team, and we just wanted it. We just wanted it really really bad, and that's what happened. We all came together, had one really big stop. Team marched down the field, field goal, won the game. How good did you feel for Chad Ryland? Really, really good. It was an awesome feeling. I felt happy for him. Yeah, yeah. They went through a lot even in that game. Yeah, yeah. He really he shows resiliency himself. Um, we already know his outcome of his uh, makes and miss and stuff like that. Not talking about that, but talking about how he overcame after the miss that he had, came back, hit a, a great one to win the game. That was that was big cojones for him. Last one for me: Is there any way to describe driving the bus into Buffalo and that stadium and those fans and what you see and what that whole game and that atmosphere is like? Yes, uh, Pittsburgh, Denver, very hostile environments. And I'm expecting the Bills to be the same way. Another hostile environment. I wish it was, a, was a night game so that it, it can be hostile on the, the lights. But it's going to be another hostile environment going in there. They're not going to like us. We're not going to like them. It's going to be gritty. We're going to get after it. And uh, we expect to win. Yeah, you seem like you hate that, huh? Hate what? That atmosphere. I love it. I love I the atmosphere. The smiling, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, it gets me going. Really? Yeah, it does. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. no problem. <laughs>